Hi INFPs, the name is Eric Thorne. In today's video, we're talking about the FISI loop. So we're talking about the tendency for INFPs to get stuck and to think that their identity is something small, simple, or practical, to become too obsessive, too narrow about how you live your life, what you eat, when you wake up, what you do during the day, how you dress, how you talk, and all those things that say, very little about your identity. As an INFP, I warn you about thinking that your identity can be defined by a simple subculture expression or by a way of dressing or by a way of uh, acting throughout the day. Your identity is not these things. Your identity is something so much more. So as an INFP, you have to outgrow the tendency to pursue your identity in specifics, in practical lifestyle decisions, in the matters of uh, where you should live or what you should do or where you should work, and to instead define your identity in a more abstract and holistic sense. So as an INFP, the road to flow, to energy, to the feeling of motivation, of uh, interest of joy of having fun is not in choosing to resign yourself to being a part of a specific group or subculture rather joy fun meaning energy comes from feeding your curiosity in a more existential direction so instead of making identity about the practical level of identity, make it the abstract level of identity. Go deeper than the surface and think, who am I? What do I want? What are my values? What are my beliefs? What is it I need? Who, what, how can I define the self? How can I define who I am? INFPs have a habit of falling into uh, the grip of SI. So as an INFP it's easy to resign yourself to a tradition or a specific lifestyle or a specific way of being. And the question is why is it so easy? Why are INFPs so tempted to do these things? And what's the problem with it? What is, why is it so bad to do these things? What's the issue with the SI? Because, you know, SI can feel very healthy. It gives a sense of routine throughout your life. Eating a certain thing or waking up at a certain time every day or uh, having a circle of friends or a group that you always spend time with. And all those things can feel very reassuring and very consistent and very stable. I mean, to me, it makes a lot of sense that INFPs are attracted to these kinds of ways. As an INFP, it's very easy to fall in the grip of SI because extroverted intuition is so much scarier and so much more overwhelming. As an INFP, INFPs are typically prone to existential angst. It's uh, very common for an INFP to struggle with anxiety and doubt over their identity and who they are and where they come from and what they are meant to do with their life. INFPs constantly wrestle these matters. So to pursue something simple can feel so relaxing, so reassuring, so, so it can give relief. So INFPs, they pursue SI because of the relief that introverted sensing gives them. Introverted sensing gives them a sense of belonging and it numbs the mind. It stops them from asking too critical questions. It stops them from uh, going too broad or too abstract or going too far out. It keeps them from challenging the views and practices of the tribe. And instead, it reassures them to resigns them to the norm that they grew up with, that they were taught, that they were brought into. INFPs are always caught in the sidelines of, should I accept where I come from, where I am, what I'm a part of, the group that I have, the rules that make out this group, the norms and social practices of this group or tribe or social unit. Or should I ask questions, or should I be free, or should I uh, release myself from these things and find my own way? 
now the matter of finding my own way that's the start of the hero's journey if you're able to release yourself from your subculture friendship circle or family or uh, whatever it is that holds you back it is going to lead to immense growth but also immense stress and fear so when you do these things you are put in a very difficult situation and this is a situation all line of peace have to go through often more than once often more than once you are going to be asked to uh, set aside what you had and to move forward into new foreign territory so as an F INFP I encourage you to think outside the box and in this case outside introverted sensing and to see new patterns and new possibilities that lay before you places you could visit things you could try uh, people you could talk to and uh, things that you could do with your life that you have so far not done so to actually let yourself be released into new opportunities and new possibilities Extorted intuition is something extremely character building for an INFP because it builds your FI and feeds your FI with information about who you are. With every new thing you try, there is a new perspective, a new uh, nuance, a new discovery into the self. You can use the patterns that you've explored and you can process and introspect on these things to make out a clear foundation of who you are. More than that, the INFPs should also seek to nurture an eye for the sake of stability. So what you should do is, you should approach yourself and whenever you think you're finding yourself becoming too narrow, whenever you think you're becoming too secure, too comfortable, to set into a certain lifestyle or way of thinking, challenge yourself to think bigger, to see new perspectives, to hear other sides of the story. Uh, talk to people who disagree with you, talk to people who see things differently, and go out and uh, also encourage yourself to be your own devil's advocate, and so to really challenge your own ideas and beliefs and values to see things from different perspectives. So it's not about being negative towards yourself or questioning yourself, it's more about opening yourself up to see different viewpoints, so learning that things are not as simple as they might seem. So. Uh, whatever it is you believe at the moment about the uh, diets or about religion or about uh, moral philosophy or all those things practice seeing new perspectives what is this lifestyle for that person or what would I, my life have been like if i would have been growing up in a different part of the world or uh, what are different ways of seeing this and how can i see this differently and is there something i am missing Teach yourself that there is always something that you're missing. There is always a stone you have not looked under. There's always a qu question you haven't asked yourself. So remind yourself that you have questions to ask yourself and questions that you need to be asked. So constantly challenge yourself to think about yourself and who you are existentially rather than practically to think, but what does this say about me and my character? And is there a different way of seeing this that I have not seen? So make sure you never assign yourself to two statistic, stati static, precise ideas that this is how I should live and this is right and wrong and there is the only, this is the only way of seeing this situation. This is the only way of thinking about this. Make sure that you don't uh, fall into categorical thinking of good and evil and that's good and that's evil and this is uh, uh, right and this is wrong. Make sure that you see and practice seeing nuances and always stay clairvoyant. Stay clairvoyant in the sense of anticipate different perspectives and viewpoints, anticipate different values and different cultures and immerse yourself and practice going into new cultures and experiencing them in depth. Take your time to process and experience something fully. Don't just shallowly wade your feet into something new but completely go for it you know lose the inhibitions the theories the th thoughts that oh i can't do that or i can't do this and just try it out and experience it for yourself the FISI loop for an INFP is a tendency of the mind, you know, the mind seeks simplicity and seeks calm and seeks reassurance 
and seeks comfort. The human mind is trained to seek comfort. Uh, so INFPs, they are always standing in introverted feeling in their identity in who they are in all those things on the crossroads of comfort in the past in what you usually think what you what kind of credos or beliefs that you resign yourself to at the moment and what you could learn so you're on the crossroads of what could i learn from the situation what could i see differently what could i do differently than what i'm doing now and where am i right now now I want to end this video with a question to all you INFPs out there. And that question is, what crossroad are you standing at right now? Where are you coming from? Where are you right now? And what is that new thing that you've been dreaming of or fantasizing about or thinking about trying or doing that you have so far not done? Let me know in the comments down below and for all means check what other INFPs are going through and see what they are experiencing and see how they are seeing things. Thanks for watching this video and thanks to everyone who supports me and my channel by becoming a member on YouTube or on Patreon. I hope to see